yeah, there's nothing black or white about tinnitus, um, unlike my beard <laughs> that is changing colour quite regularly at the moment. Um, just wanted to say that with tinnitus, a lot of the problems come from our mindset. So we think, oh my God, would it ever go? And we get a panic attack or we think, oh, if it hasn't gone after three weeks or three months or six years or God knows what, these mindsets are just thoughts and these mindsets can be really stressful. But tinnitus itself isn't black or white. It's something that is very changeable depending on how we feel. So when we come out of fear and we settle into a calm, relaxed state, then it's very normal for tinnitus to back off. It's a bit like being in the sauna and you're sweating, and I say, well, if you want to stop sweating, come out of the sauna. With tinnitus, you know, when our fears fall away and we settle and relax, it's normal for the alarm bells to stop ringing. So I'm advocating coming back into present time experiences where we feel the body and we learn how to relax the body. The body is always present. Feeling the body is always happening in the now. It's that us, the problem is that we human beings get lost in the theater of the mind. We get caught up in trains of thought that just sweep us off to God knows where. And if they're stressful thoughts, then we can become our own worst enemy because we start being fearful of the thoughts that we are creating inside our head. So this is all nonsense, it's all unhelpful stuff. So how can we disregard that and come back to a calm presence where we are feeling soothed and relaxed in the body, in the moment? This will switch off the stress responses and <clears throat> getting the help of hands-on therapists to calm and settle the body is an incredibly helpful thing and getting some body-based practice can really help our system settle. Most tinnitus people are not very good at soothing themselves. This is one of the big things that we all need to learn. Well, a part of us can be like crying babies that can't be cuddled enough to switch off and settle and relax. So we have to very actively find things that get us to really calm down and switch off. And the more we do this, the better things get. Tinnitus is never bad forever. It's never good forever. It's more a question of managing ourselves and finding that nice state of homeostasis being fine in the moment calm settled things flowing the physiology working really well in order for that to happen we need to feel safe we need to be aware of the body and we need to feel supported and have things that calm settle and relax us the more this happens the more the tinnitus backs off so as long as we're on track towards relaxation, calming, settling, soothing, things being manageable, things are going to get steadily better and better. So will I have it for the rest of my life is just an idea. That's like saying, will I sweat in a sauna for the rest of my life? Well, if you sit in the sauna for the rest of your life, you'll get incredibly dehydrated and you will sweat for a long time. You need to come out of the sauna, you need to de-stress, calm and soothe and it'll get better and better. So beware of these concepts. Will I have it forever? That's in a way, that's nonsense. It's not understanding that this is a very changeable feast depending on how you feel. So as long as you come back to settling, calming and soothing, getting support, switching off, relaxing, keeping things manageable, looking after yourself, your nervous system is going to feel safer and safer, calmer and calmer, and this will get the alarm bells to stop ringing so much. So the mental is not helpful. Having these monolithic thoughts in your head that it's going to be like this or like that is just mental. 
coming back to the reality of how you are right now in your body and getting in touch with how things are being processed right now and starting to experience things improving and settling, this is much more real. We can disentangle ourselves from the theatre of the mind and all the games that we play with these stressful thoughts and come back to looking after ourselves in the now.